Hi guys, welcome to episode two. And in today's episode, the topic of conversation is how has your upbringing or childhood affected your way of parenting? Oh Lord. Oh, hey. I like this one. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're about to have a therapy session. Yeah. <laughs> it wants to go first. Um, I'll go first. I think my upbringing personally has, I don't know, they, my parents especially have input so much fear into me in doing everything. And so, you know, anything to do with going to school, going to work in the future, because obviously I'm a child then, and they just drilled fear into me so much that when I'm now an adult, I'm literally petrified to do certain things. It's literally mentally affected me. So even the whole thing of, um, you know, you need to do this, you need to start working at a certain time, you need to get a house, you need to... There's so much expectations for you, literally what we were talking about the last episode. But then it's like, now, I, you know, I kind of had a child early at 19. Mm. That expectation and that fear kind of just toppled everything on top. And I just thought, oh... I don't know, it's made me less confident. I think my upbringing made my confidence so low because they either mm. put fear into me, my image, and, wow. you know, what I needed to do. It was so much pressure, so yeah. much pressure. Mm. And I think as well, for me personally, I so relate to that. Um, I've now, as an adult, because I go to therapy every week, right, to deal with childhood trauma and trauma I've had in my adult life. Mm -hmm. And everyone talks about how resilient children are, how resilient they are. So why do we end up in therapy mm. when we're later on yeah. in life mm -hmm. right. to deal yeah. with our childhood traumas? So I know now, because I've been able to go through therapy and express myself in a safe way, that actually the love that I experienced when I was young wasn't it unconditional. Wasn't, yeah. Yeah. It was conditional. It was, I love you if you are like this. Right. I love yeah. you if you were skinny. I love you if you spoke like this, if you weren't too mm. loud. And I felt like my personality and who I am was really repressed in my childhood. Yeah. And I'm only now finding out who I truly am. Like, I've always been this person. I was just never allowed to be <laughs> to this allowed person. To be, yes. Yes. I was yes. never allowed to evolve into who I am today. And, I can see now in hindsight, I can see it. And I think we're a lot of, we're scared to talk about the mistakes our parents made. Mm -hmm. yeah. We always say like, yeah, but they didn't know better. Mm, actually, they probably did. Mm. Yeah. They probably did. And if we're honest, I think our parents made a lot of selfish, de selfish decisions. Absolutely. I feel like I, 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 with my son, I overcompensate mm. because yeah. of my childhood. So, because <clears throat> my parents are so strict, I literally, you know, control, strict, mm. you know, wearing, even clothes, time, everything like that. I, I, I don't remember being told, you know, I love you. Mm. But then, at the same time, like now, I feel like I overcompensate. Yeah. Yeah. I tell my son, I love him all the time. All and I'm day. thinking, all day. am I overdoing it? <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. Because it's just like, because of... I have. I didn't hear it. Mm. I didn't really get hugs when I was um, when I was a child or anything like that. If I fall over, for example, mm. you know, I just have to just get up mm. and you know, keep, yeah. <laughs> unless unless you know, there's a broken bone involved. But yeah, I definitely feel like it's definitely affected me how being a parent now because mm. I definitely overcompensate with Zaid. Definitely, with my son. I 100%. Like, I so relate to that as well. Like with Bella, I, first of all, I tell her I love her a million times a day. Mm. I tell her how beautiful she is. Yeah. yeah. And the number one thing is with my love, I don't attach conditions. Mm. I always say to her, I love you just the way you are. Yeah. Mm. I don't want you to be like anyone else. Yeah, I yeah, want yeah. you to be different. I just want you to be you. Right. And then sometimes she says, But mummy, what if I change? And I'm like, And if you change, I'll still love you. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I don't even so think cute. that my my mum and dad actually complimented me in one way so they always it was like they used to com compliment me through cusses mm. oh why is your hair like that today like it was just <laughs> unnecessary comments but I think it was their I know it sounds weird for me to say it but it was like their way of trying to get through to me put, like I do you know in shape like it's like you know I feel like you know with strict controlling parents yeah. and like drilling yeah. It's about it's discipline more discipline, than love discipline yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, 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 exactly yeah, yeah. and it's all about you know you it's an appearance. You know, if you're doing the right thing, you're making them proud. Exactly, you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. They want you to be, well, they want you to be who they want you mm -hmm. to be, yeah. you know? And... It's sad and now yeah, that we're yeah, saying it out sad. loud. It sounds yeah, so it sad. It's really <laughs> emotional, but yeah. it's the truth. Yeah. And, and I think but it's more cultural. I think I, maybe yeah, again, 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 you know? 
I don't I don't know. I agree and disagree in a Same. way because I think although my parents as well, they're quite strict when I was, you know, I, I was brought up in this country and it was very different to Iraq and you know how you're meant to act and everything else and you know how you're meant to dress mm. and everything else I am a little bit more westernized however I do think that there's certain things I wouldn't do that say for example my friends do mm. or you know like how maybe they would talk or how they would act in mm. certain situations I wouldn't do that and I think in a way I thank them for that because I'm like actually there's certain aspects of it grounded. that I can yeah. I can take away and be yeah. like actually I still have my morals I still have my beliefs yeah, it's still mm -hmm. there Manners. and I actually am mm -hmm. thankful for that obviously other things you're like you know you know for example she didn't want my son to cook with her because she's like he's a he boy shouldn't oh. he shouldn't yeah, be in the yeah, kitchen yeah. So at the same time, I'm like, well, no. Yeah. What about Golden Ramsay? You like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, you can be a chef. Yeah. Like, I'm like, no, mom, let him cook with you. That's mm. really nice. I yeah. want him to cook and stuff. But yeah, if he did hold a hairbrush, tried <laughs> brushing my hair, I'm like, <laughs> leave my hair. <laughs> That's too far. And I think, you know, I think there's good and bad mm. from you know having strict parents and them guiding yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And I think, yeah, okay, fine. I, I think I was loved, but I think. Most of the time, looking back, I can't actually remember my parents being around. I remember oh. my nanny, wow. but I don't actually remember being around. I can't remember most of my childhood, to be honest. Mm. Um, but I do think that there's good and bad to take. Mm. Yeah, I, agree I mean, with we're that. strict. I think there needs to be a balance. Definitely. Because, like, like, you know, culturally as well, if you disagree politely, you're well, disrespectful. Definitely. You know, like, you get beaten. You know, you're like, you know, well, also, you hate your parents. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm leaving. Yeah. You know, disagree. You know, and then uh, even now at 32 years old, I, I'm reluctant to disagree with my parents, yeah. like yeah. my mum or my dad. I like I have to think about it ten times how I say it. Mm -hmm. You know, the language I use, and I'm 32. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and we 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 can't, I can't. I don't feel like I can have like a, a discussion where there's some sort of disagreement. Oh, if there's like can't. a disagreement, even if it's about politics, yeah. you know, it doesn't yeah. have to be, you know, on, it has to be on the same, same mm -hmm. wavelength, otherwise. See, I had a different experience. So my mom, she wasn't that strict, um, but I do feel when she was under a lot of pressure, she sometimes wasn't the best like I'm I had a good upbringing I'd say and I think there was a lot that she did implement and I'm grateful for that like I owe a lot to her but <laughs> now as an adult there were certain behaviors where me and my sister recently did discuss to her and she's very open like we, we can talk mm. and she yeah really and she, yeah my mum will um take accountability mm. I, yeah. like oh, she, amazing. yeah amazing. so um me and my sister like we will we kind of like discuss we realize that certain of our behaviors is like behaviors that my mum would ah. display so um it wasn't necessarily ha like she wasn't strict but when she was under pressure certain behavior she would display just wasn't ideal and i realized that i do the same sometimes uh, mm. and but i'm aware of it so it, it's hard because it's almost like second nature mm. but because i'm aware i make sure that i don't do it because yeah. it's like it literally is not good like sometimes um I would call it, like I said to my mum, there's certain ways in which she would be verbally abusive. Um, and, but like I said, it was just probably the pressures of life at that time. Mm. So sometimes I do think, um, Leigh said that, um, like they are kind of aware of it or they did know better, but I think sometimes they're not. Mm. I don't think they are. And yeah. I think like when I bring it to her, she now realizes, but, at that time, I think she was just doing, like, just doing the best that she that she could, could yeah. at that time mm -hmm. under a lot of pressure. So I do kind of un I, I understand that. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I make a conscious decision mm -hmm. not to like yeah do certain things because I think it does. I don't. Do you know at the time you're just being a child, and as an adult you're then able to kind of process Rethink it, and it, you're a bit yeah. like, mm -hmm. hold on, that's not, not really yeah. that's not right. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Um, <clears throat> And like even my son, like we uh, we have a good relationship, and he will say stuff to me like, "Oh, so how comes you're able to have bad days and I'm not?" Mm. Oh. And I'm like, 
Trust so yeah, <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that he's able to kind of speak. Yeah, he's he open. Feel safe to do that. And he feels safe to yeah. do that. Yeah. Like maybe as a child, I maybe would, no. We do you know what? I could speak to my yeah. mum at points, but then there's probably points where my son feels like maybe he can't, can't with me. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. But actually, no. I think to respect, no, because he yeah. respects you as well as. <laughs> you know, <you're> <laughs> does me something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah, there's a line no. of respect there I think generally with, yeah. with your parents like yeah. what you were yeah, saying even though yeah. they're, they're, they're straight there's still a line of respect absolutely yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah but I don't know if that's safe respect because the respect that I had for my parents growing up particularly my dad wasn't because I felt safe, it was because I feared him. Mm. Yeah. Because I yeah. feared his discipline and the backlash that mm. if I disagreed or did something that he really this, didn't want to. Yeah, this is to, what I was saying. Yeah. It wasn't respect out of love, it was respect out of fear. And that's not, again, it's not a healthy way to be as a child. Like, yeah. I'm, as a parent, I'm the complete opposite to how my parents raised me. Um, the relationship I've had with my daughter up until now has been very playful. We're but more like best she? friends. Mm. She's six. And she will be seven in a few weeks. So and if now... she turns around, sorry to cut you up, if she turns around at 16 and doesn't listen to you, yeah, you're still showing her love, but she doesn't listen to you. She'll be like, no, mum, I'm going out today. Bye, shuts the door. And you're like, but where are you going? Oh, yeah, I'll be back. She doesn't give you the response mm -hmm. that you want. Yeah. Then what are you going to do? You're going to have to implement some discipline and some rules and boundaries. Yeah, and you all do, of that. but you don't it's have like... to. You don't have to base your whole parenting around discipline. There can be a good balance. Like you can have a good balance as a parent. You can be friends, and you can still be disciplined as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. But then uh... you still show your child boundaries. <laughs> but then do you think yeah. discipline, yeah. discipline yeah. don't have to be a bad boundaries. thing? It doesn't I don't, have to. Yeah, 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 but I'm saying so. Discipline, like I know that now because the discipline that I had grown up was just fearful mm. right yeah, now right. you can have discipline okay. daily not yeah. just when yeah. you do something wrong but constant but constant every fear. day that yeah. comes with routine yeah that comes yeah. with routine that comes with um saying no's that comes with sometimes having to remind your child hang on i'm still the parent here right mm -hmm. we might be friendly but i'm still the yeah. i'm still the adult i still yeah. make Absolutely. that executive decision yeah. Boundaries. Mm. yeah boundaries yeah Discipline comes with boundaries and firm routines and no's. It's yeah. not a, if my child does something wrong, I'm going to go mad and take all her toys and strip her of everything. And I'm learning this as a parent. Mm. These are mistakes that I'm yeah. making as a yeah, parent yeah. as well. Like, mm. I'm by far a perfect mum. I'm not at all. Um, but I'm learning now. You can't just lose your rag in that final moment when they do something wrong. Yeah, yeah, it has yeah. to be like a daily implemented, like I can't, when you implement discipline daily, mm. To be honest, as easy as that sounds, it's so hard. I mean, I've had to literally yeah, bite hard. my tongue several times. So with mine, Leela's obviously 11, and then I have April, who's six, and then Leo's obviously 13 months. It just gets way too much sometimes. And you know mm. that, like we were saying about that whole image of, oh, no, you know, it, it's easy enough to say you can put this discipline in. But sometimes the discipline, and I think this is because of my upbringing as well, I used to get beats constant, probably because I, you know, I was playing football in the living room. Mm. You know, it's like little <laughs> things like that, or I don't know, I didn't wash the plates one day. Those drilled, they they were helpful because, you know, it's it, they helped me to understand. And I actually did this to Leela because she was my firstborn and I had her quite young. Like I said, make sure you wash the plates. She was what four, five. Mm. She needed to learn how to do it. Mm. As much as she hated me then. I understood how helpful it was for my mum to yeah. do that for me. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. on my dad's side, for example, he was, like you said, that fear of mm. my dad, mm. <laughs> still yeah. to this day. Right. And the fear of me telling him, um, you know, when I was pregnant, I was 19, um, when I gave birth, and I had to get my mum to tell him over Skype because oh, wow. I was petrified. Mm, and it's just, wow. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's the fear of dads or... And does your, yeah, does your partner do that as well? Does he kind of do that? Yeah, ours, that our side? relationships, diff it's, it's a balance of, they're not fearful of him. Leela is, but the rest of them are not. Mm. And I, I think it's just because at that time, like we said, we were young. So it was kind, mm. we were kind of understanding, do I need to follow my mum's yeah. way, yeah. My, my parents' mm -hmm. way, or do we actually need to do this? And it, I think with her, out of the rest of them, I know they're probably going to hear this, but she was kind of the mature me. Mm. And I really appreciate that because we were learning with her. Whereas mm. with the second and the third one, we were kind of like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think because you had Lila so young, you're, yeah. you didn't really like, maybe you didn't grasp like yeah, literally. parenthood and, you know, and you know, it's default how, yeah. how your parents were with you. It's default, yeah. you know, how you're going to be with. But then I realised how, like I said, it, 
those times that I hated them at that time, mm. you know, because I wasn't allowed to play on the balcony, mm. I understood certain things. So, like, they will never have sleepovers. Yeah. That's my decision, but that's also my parents' decision that they gave yeah, to me. Yeah, and yeah. I understand it and I yeah. respect it. Yeah. And it's it's yeah, the I thing. And that, now yeah, I'm like, I, I wish I had a sleepover, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> I never had a sleepover. I never had a sleepover. <laughs> I never had a sleepover. <laughs> I will be honest, though. I think my mum, because obviously there's four of us, now the youngest one, she's got a different, different yeah. upbringing. Mm-hmm. She's like, she's much more lenient and she's much more, and I think that's, she learned from us, obviously there needs to be a balance, like yeah. what you were saying. Yep. And I think she realised that as well, living in this country, you have to adapt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And going back to the, the, the reason why I was talking about the balance thing is because, my, as I was saying, my relationship with my daughter up until now has been super friendly because I went really the complete good. opposite yeah. of how I was yeah. raised yeah. because yeah. I, thought, I thought if I'm if I show that amount of fear in my child, she's not going to love me. So I thought, if I give her all of this freedom, she's going to love me. Mm. Yeah. And now I realised we're changing. She's growing. Mm. She's in that phase where, like, certain things are happening to her, like most, like you do, because yeah, she's yeah. growing up. Yeah. So, and we're going through changes now. And right now, it's really hard for me. Mm. Right. Because... She's not my best friend no more. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm mum. Yeah. I got to know what I got to that I'm point. I'm Leela. Leela. So it's and really this is really adjust, hard because I'm adjusting. scared because I'm I'm like she's gonna hate me. Yeah. Mm. But I know she's not. I know she's it's never needed. Gonna hate no. She needs yeah. these boundaries now, and I can see that in her, like because it comes out in her behaviour, and right. maybe sometimes she doesn't feel safe, especially at school and things like that. And now I'm like, okay, I understand now. I have to think on my feet quick time here. Yeah. What am I gonna do? Yeah. Right. I have to adapt, like you say. I have to adapt my own parenting mm. skills mm. to find that good balance. Yeah. Mm. See, I'm more of a laid back mum. I, I do I do let Zay, you know play around, express, make a mess, whatever. Mm. But I feel like I get judged by my family Mm. because I'm Mm. not strict enough or I'm a bad mum because he's so free, Mm. you know, and, you know, but at the same time, it's, I don't, sometimes I don't know with culture and family, you don't know where to stand and you just don't know like, oh, what are you doing? Are you doing it right or are you doing it wrong? You know, and there's no, because like, when I was younger, childhood, there's no, there was no room for compromise or negotiation, yeah. or anything like that. No means no. Yeah. You know, if I wanted to go outside, um, to play outside, I'll ask my parents. They say no, so I ask the neighbour to go and ask my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine allowed out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they're like, oh, they're saying no. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Well, me and Layla used to do that through the windows. Yeah. You've got to beg my mum now. Yeah. You've got to beg my mum. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're like, oh, right, five minutes. You know what I mean? Like, there's no room yeah. for negotiation. And and I feel like I'm the, I'm going to be. I am the complete opposite, you know. Like, yeah. I want that. I've got an image. I'm not the perfect mum. Yeah. Maybe I'm too laid back, mm. and I have that fear of they might go off the rails because I'm not putting enough boundaries yeah. in place, mm. and you know he's just too free. So I do have like anxiety around that, and I don't know what is correct parenting. I there is, know. and that's there what's is. hard yeah. finding what that kind of yeah. balance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like for me, like you said, it's that kind of tradition versus like just doing the opposite, like, the opposite yeah. to that. And I'm always questioning myself because sometimes I'm like, you know, you come across things like positive parenting. And I'm like, oh, okay. I like <laughs> that. It, Let me work. implement that. And then it's like, yeah, and then I'm like, no, this child's being a bit too disrespectful. Like, and I'm like, okay, I understand why my mum said, yeah. me and you ain't friends. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then sometimes I understand that. So it's like... Yeah. Trying to find yeah. that balance is hard. But then I do think for our generation, it's easier because we're at the age of information. Yeah. So I think we're kind of um, exposed to a lot of new and different ideas. Mm. I think at that time, there probably was, but not as accessible as yeah. Yeah. it is to yeah. us. Yeah. So I feel like we, it's easier for us to always be kind of adapting and doing better. I think mm. them, they were just kind of just living, just yeah. doing, do you know what yes. I'm saying? Just being parents. I don't think they yeah. were really... Well, I can't say that some were, but I mean, thinking about it as much. I think I think, and sometimes I'm thinking too much. And I think sometimes my child's, what I'm thinking about, my children are probably not thinking Even about. Thinking it's just about like, it, yeah. you're just mum, you're just being mum. But I think I'm very aware of how my behaviour may affect them in adulthood. Yeah. Mm. See, like, and we're talking, we're primarily mm. focusing here, I've noticed, like, around our parents, our yeah. Parents, yeah. yeah. But... I'm an, I'm an ex-asylum seeker. I came to this country to escape war and persecution. Mm. 
that's part of my childhood and my upbringing. Mm. That's also shaped me who I am. Mm. Right. When we would have all had experiences in our childhood mm. that were separate to our parents and went as a result of their, a direct result of their behavior that have shaped us as parents mm. now as yeah. well and yeah. as adults. Mm. <clears throat> Do you know what? There's one thing that I actually hate that I feel like I've got from my parenting, um, my mum and dad, is basically comparing my kids to others and I constantly do it and I hate it but they mm. always used to do that to me so like if I got a bad grade and I had a best friend called Genevieve at the time who was a mathematician <laughs> yeah. she'll be like but Genevieve got this how comes you? where were you in school etc cetera, etc cetera. the constant comparison yeah. to Break someone down, else yeah, yeah. Mm. but now I'm finding myself like slightly doing it so April Leela was uh, she started reading at four like crazy books wow. you know Harry Potter at that age April, on the other hand, she's struggling and right. she's six. And I was just like, yeah, but what's going on here? Like, well, I'm, I'm a whole year in lockdown with you. You need to start reading. <laughs> but then I'm just thinking, that's so bad of me because I'm... Jordan. Yeah, I'm doing what my mum and dad did to me mm. and now I'm putting it into them and then she's going to give it to her children. And it's yeah. just so degrading. But you're conscious of that now. Yeah, yeah now I am. Yeah. conscious yeah. of that going back yeah. to because we've yeah. got all this information. Yeah. And it's true, it's yeah. all accessible. You're conscious of that now. And now you can make different decisions. decisions yeah. You can adapt. And mm. that's, that's why I think it's great about our generation. Yeah. Because, yes, we did have these mm. strict upbringings where it seems like for most of us. Mm. Not me. I'm just letting y'all just talk. But, well, yeah, I didn't have a really a strict upbringing. I never got beat. Uh, probably got pinched once or once or twice. <laughs> uh, pinched, yeah. Pinched on the hand oh, once or twice. You know, between yeah. the thighs. <laughs> um, my mum claims that I was like an angel child. I don't know if I was an <laughs> angel oh, child. No. I, think that's a bit, I think that's a bit exaggerative, but... What yeah. about your brother then? Did he yeah. get it harder than you? Or? Um, yeah, no, definitely. But my parents admitted to that. Okay. They poured mm. a lot into me. Okay. And with the second, they just was just like, Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Corinne can kind of just... Entertain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I just feel like maybe because I was getting stuff, you know, like how you focus on the child that's, like, doing good? Yeah. yeah. And the one that's yeah. kind of struggling sometimes, you kind of just leave them to the side. Yeah. Um, and maybe that's what happened. But ultimately, I think... Um, sometimes you forget that your parent is a person. Yeah. yeah. Because it's true, now that I think, true. now that I'm an adult, I'm like, I'm actually a person as well as a parent yeah. and a mom. Mm -mm. So when I when I think back to, oh, my mom, she was this, or she never used to listen to me, or, and I'm just thinking, but she was probably going through relationship issues, and that's just what she was d dealing yeah. with as a woman. Yeah. Mm. And obviously, you're not gonna have time to be always listening to what I'm saying or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes you're just gonna have bad days, but at a time as a child, you don't feel you don't, that and yeah. you don't think that. Yeah. But yeah, you have to separate and just say, look, my mom actually will, and my dad are actually people. They had their own traumas as well oh, that they yeah. brought onto yeah. their parenting. Yeah. And it's almost like a generational curse or whatever they yeah. call it. Um, and it's up to our generation to break, to break the cycle. It's so do you not feel like, perspective. oh, sorry. So do you not feel like as children, you fought the same, like, it felt the way it did when you look back at it as an adult. So did you feel right. like, oh, my parents, or yeah, it I just was, it. do you know what I mean? I'm more understanding now, I feel. So like things that I maybe was offended by as a child then, now I'm like, oh, I kind of kind get of get it. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, no. saying, I'm the same, as I don't, I, yeah, I can't necessarily agree with that. Obviously just from my own personal experience, because there's a lot that my parents shouldn't have done, mm. right? Mm. There's a lot of stuff that have affected me now as an adult from my childhood. And was you aware of it as a child? Like, did you feel that as a child? I don't know how to answer that because mm. I'm 32 and I'm aware of, and I'm really conscious of my emotions. Yeah. You, how can you, how conscious can you be as a seven year old when you're constantly mm. repressed? Mm. Wow. How? How conscious can you be? You spend your whole time in survival mode. Mm. Yeah, you don't, you're right. not you. You oh, spend yeah. your whole time yeah. surviving. I completely relate to that. And yeah. I'm not saying, like, I wasn't neglected, but no. I think what, what people forget is the, the emotional aspect yeah. mm. that yeah. your parents can... How much they really affect you as a child, and you don't realise it mm. until you're at this age. Yeah, mm. and able to kind of process yeah. it and understand it. And, like, you know, like, um, ang like stuff like anxiety... Mm. That, that is really from your childhood yeah. experiences. You know, a lot of people have anxiety in life, in their adult life. It's because of their childhood. Mm. And I can, I, I get that. I do get that because mm. I have anxiety and I'm always anxious. 
Mm. Um, in certain situations and it is because of the overthinking when yeah. you're a child you don't know it back then yeah. but you're always overthinking always fearful am I doing it right you know the expectation mm, yeah, absolutely you know letting them down what's the repercussions and it's just yeah it's just like a but like you said Corinne I get it like it's so hard to see it from a parent's perspective mm. like oh they're humans yeah you know mm. but like I don't want to be judged. I feel like I judge my parents a lot. This is yeah. it. That's Definitely. what I was trying Definitely. to say. Like, do you, do you, you know? think... You have to sometimes separate it. Sometimes. Do you, do you, <laughs> sorry, lovely. Um, do you think, like, your parent, your parents' parenting has affected your relationships? Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you think... Oh, 100%. Yeah. I feel like, that's what I said, like, my mum, I feel like I'm a little bit like a replica of her. And, okay. like I said, so I've got all the good parts, but all the... A poor choices and stuff like that. I feel like I just kind of followed suit. Poor choices. <laughs> yeah, no, literally. I like uh, it's not nice to say, but I do feel like I've kind of like followed suit. So there's so much. When I look at my life and I look at hers, I realise how we're similar in okay. s- yeah. so many different ways. Relationship choices, like mm. uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say because obviously you've had. I mean, we've all had obviously different upbringings, but with you. We've, you know, you said you, you've never been, you know, here. You felt quite loved. And do you think that has reflected how you are with your child as well? Because um, that's obviously yeah. what we're trying to yeah. understand. Yeah, like, it's true. Um, I don't know, because ultimately I'm not in a relationship. So how I was brought up with it was with two parents. Mm. So ultimately I've not had that. It's so new. it's brand new. Um, and I feel like every time... I'm in situations I always think, oh, well, how would it be dealt with if it was just me and... Yeah. So did you feel the pressure because you yeah. was brought up with two parents? Mm. Did you feel a bit like... Yes. Yeah, the, yeah mm. that ultimately kind of stopped me from even wanting to have a child or have the pregnancy because yeah. I was so scared of, okay, well, not having a two-parent household, that's, I'm not used to that. That's, this mm. is, that's foreign to me. Yeah. Mm. So I was very, very, very scared of that. But it's doable. I'm still here. Yeah. Man. <laughs> oh, it's more than doable. <laughs> <laughs> Living life here. So, to wrap it up, going back to the question, <laughs> um, how has your upbringing and childhood affected your way of parenting? Clearly, it's so personal for all of yeah. us. Yeah. 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 That not a single one of us have had the same experience. We could seem to be able to relate on some parts. Yeah. But yet, yeah, we've all had to adapt it's yeah. almost like we've all had to think on our yeah. feet so much. Yeah. That's really what I'm taking away like from. Like you said, yeah. survival this, instincts yeah. and all of that. That's yeah, default. Mm. That's but so now, when you said that, I, that literally just hit. And yeah. it's, but now like, it feels like because we are in this age of information yeah. and social media, yeah. we have the luxury of making better choices. Yeah. 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 And educating ourselves. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Soft and Free Naturals is the latest product range to be released from the global hair care brand. They have teamed up with us for a chance to win the full range to get your curls popping. To enter, please follow their instructions below. <laughs>